Hey, Tim here. In Tableau 21.3, Tableau have added this ability to essentially dictate the data freshness policy for a live connection in a particular workbook. Let's take a look and see how that works. Now, there is one condition for this is that you have to be using a live connection. This doesn't work on a uh, extracted workbook. Let us let me just show you this. Uh, you can see here, this doesn't have a live connection to a data source. Um, if you go to data sources here, you can see that these are just two extracts embedded inside of the workbook. If I go back to the views option, um, this is sort of tricky because you might think you hit on these three dots to see this option. Uh, if you click on that, you just get this drop down. What you actually need to do is click on this little eye. This is where you get the details of this particular workbook. And you can see here that I don't get any options for data freshness. It should normally be here and it's not because this is essentially an embedded data source and it's extracted. It's not a live connection. So none of the caching really matters here. Okay, let's go back to my homepage. And what you'll see is I actually created a, a workbook literally two minutes ago, and we're gonna use that. Now, what this is actually doing, let's go ahead to this workbook. It's a really crap workbook. I've just created it as a simple demo. And it essentially shows the view counts on uh, my videos uh, spread out across uh, a bunch of days. Now, the secret here is that obviously it's messy, so you can't make it out, and that the video IDs are over here, because no one watches my videos, true story. But nonetheless, if we go back out to the workbook up here, um, you'll see that uh, this actually is using a data source. It's a live connection and it's connecting to Snowflake and it's using a table in my Snowflake instance um, to do this. So this is a live connection. This should work. So if I go over to the top here and hit the eye icon, you'll see that essentially I now get this data freshness policy area and it's actually set to the site default because I haven't dictated one. It's got the site default of 12 hours. So essentially Tableau is going to make sure that the data is as fresh as, as it possibly can be over the last 12 hours, essentially. And it's sort of hard to explain caching in Tableau Server and online because so many different points where caching can happen. Caching can happen in Tableau. Caching can happen in the database. So even though this says 12 hours, the database might be doing something completely different. So it's really hard to diagnose caching sometimes. But what this does do is it gives a level of certainty about what Tableau is trying to do, which has always been sort of difficult with different points of caching inside of Tableau itself. So you can see here that I've got the site default of 12 hours. Um, obviously, if you hit learn more, it opens up a new tab. This goes to the documentation on this feature. So by all means, absolutely check this out. But if I go back to this feature, you'll see that I have this setting. Now, I can always say that this is live. Tableau will always get the latest data. This is important because for some workbooks and for some use cases, this is literally the only way to make absolutely certain that you're looking at the latest data. Now, this just means the Tableau will send a request to the database. It doesn't mean the database itself will actually send back something that's not cached. Um, so that's something to sort of watch out for. Um, but you can also change this value of 12. So if I go down here to the next option, ensure the data is fresh every, uh, I can change this value every six hours, five hours. I can even go all the way up to weeks. So if I've got a live connection that barely changes, I can say to Tableau, hey, keep this cache for up to a month. I don't know when you'd ever use that. Um, but you can also set it as low as minutes. So you can say, hey, every 10 minutes, can you please make sure that this is up to date, okay? So this is a really nice sort of precise control that we now have, and you can set this uh, to a really nice setup. Now, I can also specify a time. This is so powerful. So if you look at this, I can actually specify that, listen, at 9.45, when uh, people log in uh, after going through, I don't know, they're having their coffee or whatever, I look at the stat, I can say to Tableau, hey, at nine o'clock every single day, every single week, um, whatever you want to do, uh, you can basically set this uh, schedule exactly like you can almost set extract schedules and say, look, Monday, Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday at nine o'clock using the American time zone here because this server is in America, but I can choose whatever time zone I want. Um, can you make sure that this data source is using live fresh data, please. And that will make sure that it's always pulling that in from that time onwards. So if it gets to 8.59, it won't. And then at nine o'clock, boom, every request at that point onwards will be fresh. And so the caching will start to pick up there. And so this is a nice way uh, to sort of make this work. Now, the frustrating thing about this setting is that you can't set multiple points in the day. So what you have to do if you want to do this is really go back to this option here and say, look, every three hours, 
and then generally this should catch sort of um, most of the requirements uh, that you want. I would like to be able to just type in the space. It doesn't seem to be working. Um, it's just a sort of up and down toggle at the moment, but that's pretty much it. That's sort of the feature in a nutshell. You can use this to really set how fresh your data is going to be across the whole entire Tableau product. So that's really cool to see and that's really cool to have. Um, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to check out all the other videos on tableautim.com uh, where I go through all these features for this release and the past release as well. And we cover lots of other great content as well. So be sure to check that out. Let me know in the comments what you'd like to see more of and I'll catch you in the next video.